using your camera to add depth effects can be a daunting and complex task. Doing it afterwards though in Paint Shop Pro 2018 is much easier, creative, and editable. Let me show you how. Depth of field is used to create an area of focus and also to defocus the rest of the photo in order to draw attention to a particular object, such as these robin's eggs. In Paint Shop Pro 2018, open a photo you'd like to use in the Edit tab. This photo is a great candidate for depth of field. Make sure you're in the Edit tab. Now we're going to go to the Adjust menu and choose Depth of Field. Here we see a before window and an after window. Right now, both images look exactly the same. Over on the right is our collection of depth of field tools. Area of focus allows us to choose a variety of blur shapes, such as circular, freeform, rectangular, and one based on a raster. This one allows you to bring in an image with a previously created selection and base your effect off of that. Because of the shapes of the eggs and the nest, I think it would make sense to use the circular selection. Simply draw out a circle from the center of your object, like this. Don't worry about exact size or positioning at first, as this can easily be edited. Now let's add the blur. I'll stop at a couple points along the way so you can see the differences. The Blur tool will make everything outside the selection blurry. If I want to make the selection itself blurry and the outside clear, I can just select the Invert choice. But let's deselect Invert, and I'm going to choose a setting of around 25. In order to make the Blur versus Clear transition appear more gradual, we'll use the Feather Edge slider. I think a setting about halfway should be fine. Lastly, the focus range is used to adjust the amount of blur in the area that is not selected. As you can see, the background gets clearer as I move the slider to the right. I think I'll make my setting around 40. Once you're pleased with your choices, click OK to return to the main window and view your results. Here is another photo I did using the freeform selection around the clownfish. Hope you found this easy but effective feature useful enough for you to try it out yourself. If you have found this tutorial on YouTube, be sure to check out learn.corel.com for more equally informative tutorials.